Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here and do another life update with you. Um, I also, first of all, wanted to say thank you so, so much for the amazing views that I got on my video that I posted, which was um, The Silence versus A Quiet Place. I got 26 views on that in such a short space of time. I'm, I'm over the moon, I really am. Thank you so much to everyone who watched that video and took the time to, uh, you know, check it out and everything. So yeah, thank you very, very much. Um, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, click the bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Um, I just, I'm just loving the time that, you know, I'm having at the moment, as much as it's like a really awful time with the coronavirus going on and with, you know, obviously I can't even begin to think about how horrible it must be for any family member who has a family member who has either got the coronavirus or is, you know, getting over it or, um, you know, high risk or just anyone who's out there on the front line basically it just it must be absolutely nerve-wracking for anyone and I have a great respect for anybody who is on the front line because it's just it's just ah, I can't even, there's no words to describe it there really isn't um but yeah like you know apart from that having this time in which we can't go out or I can't go out um you know because obviously we're all trying to stay in and stay safe you're trying to make the best of um a very bad situation but i am enjoying the time that i'm having um to make content to come up with ideas to do a bit more research um i love researching stuff for my videos it gives me so much pleasure to turn around and do that i don't know if anyone else enjoys doing that but I am a big fan of researching especially if it's something that you can really fall down a wormhole with. Um, I have been talking to my friend Matt a huge amount about falling down wormholes recently um, and uh, yeah I mean what what more of a perfect time to a degree to fall down a wormhole of research or uh, like I said in my last video a new hobby or um, anything really just anything random or not random or something brand new something that scares you anything really um, but yeah I mean apart from um, you know learning a new hobby or like falling down a wormhole of, of whatever um, what is this weather like oh my god I am chuffed like I've got both of my windows open which are either side of me and I haven't been able to open them because they were infested with spiders and I hate spiders with a passion. There's only one that lives in the top corner of my window and uh, I'm assuming it's a girl because it's quite big but uh, she uh, kind of, she stays there, she hasn't moved in a week and a half so yeah, we're working on it, we're making progress. I'm no longer kind of opening the windows with my flash speed mop because I was kind of using it to prop the door, the prop the prop the doors. Sorry, prop the windows open because I was just terrified that I was going to open it and there was going to be spiders everywhere because that's like a great big fear of mine. And uh, especially with this window, when you open the window to start with, you could hear the webs just. No, 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 no! It's horrible. <laughs> I just don't really really don't like spiders my neighbor was out he just finished um a personal training session and i was outside with a stick just underneath because we've got a may tree but near my place and it, like back before um and just when the coronavirus started um it was obviously giving off all this fluff and fuzz and it was so pretty to start with because i was looking out my other kitchen window which is over there and it just looked like it was snowing but in the sun it was so pretty um but um yeah it just it's just it literally goes everywhere and just attaches itself to everything so i um i wanted to get rid of some of the spider webs that were underneath the window as well because my windows don't open like that they sort of open like this and they can only open a certain amount so they can only open about that much so um yeah i just went out with a stick and my neighbours just doing his thing, um, putting his stuff away in the room of his car, 
and there's me with a stick and then all of a sudden I literally, I didn't even poke it that much and I didn't know it was there and I just did that with the stick and it just, oh no, it just came out of its little hole and it just ran everywhere and being the fact that I wasn't inside my home to defend it I was on the outside and I could just see it like about to run into my flat and I was like hell no love that is not happening so I just kind of flicked it with this stick and I felt so bad but in the spider's defense it took it well she kind of I'm assuming it was a girl it, had, it was big I, and I'm, I'm pretty damn sure from my recollection of spider knowledge that the females are always bigger than the males so it kind of just took the swan dive straight off the edge and like you could see it was on a web um oh it's just the stuff of nightmares it really is <laughs> but yeah so um that was a bit more of a tangent on spiders considering in my uh i think it's somewhere along this side by here um i have like arachnophobia i've got eight-legged freaks i've got guardians of the tomb which are all spider films but I hate spiders, so yeah, go figure on that one, but yeah. Anywho, going back to my lovely glorious windows that are now lovely and wide open, um, it's amazing because the breeze that's coming in is so nice. Because before I could only open the kitchen window that was over there, and it just, it's so noisy because I'm right on a main road, and it's quite a, a busy main road as well, so at least having these two windows open, I kind of have it buffered because the noise doesn't come round the corner so much. Um, I hope I'm making sense there, not just randomly waffling random nonsense, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like, what have you guys been doing? What have you, have you, have you picked up a new hobby? If you have since the last lockdown video that I did, how is your hobby coming along? You know, are you enjoying it? Have you kind of given up? Have you kind of thought, oh, do you know what, I'm actually really good at this? Or how many new hobbies have you started or, you know, how's it all going? <laughs> um, I have um, been out in the sun a little bit, caught the sun a little bit on my arms, which is nice. Um, you have to excuse the marks on my arms as well. I have like awful acne, but I just get it on my arms and as you can probably see just on my face a little bit, but what can you do about it? Um, Hopefully once the lockdown finishes I'm going to try and get like some cream or something for it because I hate it but I can't wear a jumper all the time just because I don't want anyone to see it. Um, but yeah, sorry I'm going on a rant again. Um, but yeah, I have spent quite a nice amount of time outside. Um, I haven't got a garden but I've just got like a car park. Um, but I've been out so many times with just a towel and I've just sat down leaning against the side of my car um, and just enjoyed reading um i did put my headphones in a little bit i am trying to do some research if i can find it i don't even know if i've even oh yeah i have um i um i'm actually reading this so it's the book of uh the haunting of hill house now i've started doing um i've started re-watching the series as well because the book is completely different to the tv series and I can't quite tell which one I like more. Um, the, I've only kind of got that far into the book, so this is all I've read. So it's it's pretty damn good. Um, it's got a really good, like the font is really easy to read. Um, and it's not a big book either. Like, I mean, to be fair to me, if I was really trying, I could probably have finished that by now. I only started it the other day. Um, my, since we've been on lockdown, my reading, out the window I have no idea where it's gone I honestly when this lockdown started and I first got furloughed I honestly was like I'm gonna read so much because of my whole let's see how many books I can read in 2020 but it's just not happened and I'm really shocked at myself because I'm, I'm still trying to get through Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix because I mean I don't even I think I'm I don't know it's on my on my little table by here I can just stare at it about three quarters of the way through so i'm getting there but i'm just not picking it up i'm just watching so much tv and have you guys noticed that during the week there is so much tv that's on like really well semi-decent programs a lot of it's just like you know trashy tv but you watch it because some of us have like 
you know, you kind of have a, a moment where you're like, oh, I'll have a bit of guilty pleasure watching, like, you know, The Real Housewives, or for me, it's Little Women LA. Gotta, gotta put it out there. Absolutely obsessed with The Little Women of LA at the moment. Um, I don't, and I'm not just saying it because I'm only four foot eleven, and these girls are like three foot something, but they're just so pretty, and they have the most amazing outfits, and just ah, oh, just I'm really going, going for it. And uh, The Real Housewives is it Potomac? Potom Potomac? I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Um, stuck on that. Uh, what else am I watching? Also stuck on Tawi. Never in a million years did I think I would be watching that. But yet yeah, from about 20 past 12 till about 4 o'clock, I've kind of got, you know, Real Housewives. Uh, and I think it's Sam and Billy Fairs and the Mummy Diaries. Then it's Tawi. And then it's Little Women LA. <laughs> and then from there, there on, normally and during the week, um, there is something on the Horror Channel. So yeah, it kind of goes from one end of the spectrum to the other. But um, that's lockdown life. That is my lockdown life at the moment, and I'm actually really excited. I kind of, uh, I woke up on Saturday morning, and I thought it was Friday. So I was like, yeah, you know, great, and it came up to like 12 o'clock. And I was like, right, okay, I know I've got sort of like, you know, 15 minutes to get a snack and sort out a drink, go to the loo, you know, do all my usuals before I can sit down and watch TV. And I sat down and I like flicked through the channels and I was like, wait a minute, am I missing something? Where is it? It's not like the chat, the programs weren't on. I was like, oh, thank God, it's Saturday, and it? Damn it. And there's nothing on TV on a Saturday and a Sunday. Like, I mean, is it is it because of the fact that Saturdays and Sundays people normally go out or they um, do things with friends because it's a, it's a weekend and not a weekday? But, like, oh, my God, it's absolute sod all on telly. It's, well, I mean, I guess there's stuff on TV, but I just don't like it, so maybe that's why I think there's, like, nothing on TV. Thank God for Netflix, that's all I can say. But, um, yeah, I will probably, I know I'm jumping, this is going to be a ramble because I am obviously jumping from one thing to the other to the other to the other, so uh, try and keep up. But, um, yeah, uh, jumping back to The Haunting of Hill House, I first watched it a long time ago when it first came out on Netflix with my mum, and I loved it, but then I haven't watched it since. And then I got the book, and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm going to read the book thinking that it was the same, but it's completely different. So I'm annoyed that I didn't know that because um, I'm normally pretty good on that. So I thought, hey, why not start reading the book? It's not very big. It hopefully won't take me too long. Um, but yeah, the book so far is actually really, really good. Um, it's very descriptive um, and you, I wouldn't say it's scary. Well, I haven't really got into it yet, but um, I kind of think that it's, like with the film you watch, with a book I think you feel, like you use your imagination and you feel it a little bit more than more than anything else. Um, so um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I, I was gonna do like a, mo um, not a movie, sorry, um, a book versus the TV series, but then uh, I might just do a Haunting of Hill House video and then just sort of chat about both because there's just, I mean, literally the haunting of hell house could be a wormhole in itself um and yeah but i'm re-watching it at the moment i think i'm only on like the third or fourth episode i'm hooked and i've i've seen so many different things and i'm understanding stuff that i didn't get when i first watched it um so i'm definitely really enjoying it uh the only bad thing is i can only start watching it at like half nine ten o'clock because um the glare from that window is right on my telly in this section so you get such a bad glare that you can't, like, you miss so much. And because obviously it's the haunting of Hill House and it's meant to be scary and all this, that and the other, they make it so flipping dark that I can't see it. So I can only start watching it at, like, 10 o'clock. So, um, yeah, I think I watched a couple of episodes the other night and it got to about midnight. And I was like, do you know what, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> and then I was, like, lying in bed. I was like, oh, this is great, isn't it? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, thankfully I'm not, I don't get scared by horror films, or I haven't found one that really, really scares me. The only one that I think I've ever watched most recently that really kind of was like, oh, you know, was Shutter, which is the film that I did a movie review on. Um, that was probably one of, one of the closest, scariest films, because I think the one before that was The Grudge, but that was like a couple of years ago. 
Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't wait to do some more movie reviews for you guys because I really like doing those because I'm such a movie buff. Like, I used to have so many more DVDs than the ones that you can see behind me. It's like absolutely crazy. Like, if I move my Mac screen, oops, hang on. If I move my Mac screen, like, literally, that's, that's nothing. And then, I mean, if I move, again, if I move my Mac screen down by here. Oh, I'm pointing at my screen. You guys can't even see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never done this before. Um, as you can see by here, there is a huge amount of um, TV uh, box sets. I'm big into my box sets as well, but I, I quite like the old-fashioned films, not the newer ones. Um, I don't know why. I just think I prefer them because I've got, I mean, most of the DVDs that are behind me, like, there's a couple of new ones in there, but the majority of them are, like, really old, like Arachnophobia. Um, I've got, like, the first Godzilla. I've got... Um, the Howling, that's like really, really old. Um, yeah, they're, they're quite old films. I haven't really got any new, new films. I think the newest films that I've got on there are the final Halloween film, Terminator Dark Fate. That was bloody good, that was. I might do a review on that one, actually, because it's really good. I just don't want to do... The thing is with new films that I find is... I don't want to do the, the review of it too soon because I don't know how many people have watched it and I don't, I mean obviously I could say, you know, there will be spoilers in this film, uh, in this film, oh my god Jade, in this video, but I don't want to like risk anyone not like sp having something spoiled for them because I would be so pissed myself if I watched uh, somebody's video and I was desperate to watch this film and then I kind of found out everything about the film through the video. So, um... I might wait a little bit longer before I do that. I don't know. Do you want to see a Terminator Dark Fate movie review? I don't know. If you do, let me know below. And um, I will definitely happily do that because I just really enjoy doing movie reviews. Plus, it gives me a good excuse to watch the film again. So, yeah. Um, I, know this, I know this video so far has been super rambled, super random, super jumpy from one subject to the other. But I think that's kind of lockdown life, really. I don't think there's anything, you know, strategic. You know, I'm, I'm all for anyone who will be like, yeah, yeah, I do this at this time. I do that at that time. And my, like, routine hasn't changed at all. I'm like, wow, go you. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think there is an... Actually, that, that's a lie because I was just literally about two minutes telling you about the fact that I sit down from, like, 20 past 12 to 4 o'clock to watch trashy daytime TV, which I'm sadly now obsessed, well, not sadly, but I'm now obsessed with. So yeah, there's a little bit of strategic planning going on to my day, but apart from that, there isn't really much planning going on. I'm going for more walks, which is good because I wasn't doing any outdoor activity at all. Um, I was just trying to sort of do yoga and stuff like that in the house, which was all well and good, but the weather is so nice that I just was like, you know what, just get your trainers on and just go for a walk. Um, I do want to try and sit outside a little bit more as well, like, you know, I haven't got a garden, so what, you just got to make do with what you've got, um, and in fairness to it, my neighbours are the same, they just get a deck chair out, put it in the sun, it doesn't matter if it's smack bang in the middle of the car park, no one's gonna, like, be like, oh god, you know, she sat in a deck chair on the car in the car park, or in my sense, because I don't have a deck chair, uh, sat on a towel, um, you know, you, you make do with what you got and, you know, at the end of the day I'm still outside, I'm still getting those nice sun rays on my skin and, you know, it's all, it's all good, you know, that's it, that's all I can say really. Um, oh my god, yeah, I don't really know what else to say because I don't really plan this video, hence the, the rambled mess of it, but, um, I don't really know, like, I, I'm kind of panicking slightly because I'm, I mean, I've got my list of, of videos, ideas and stuff for the side of me, but I'm not sure if they're going to go down well, whether people want to see them, but then I didn't think that The um, the Silence versus A Quiet Place was going to go down well, and that's got 26 views in like a couple of hours, so, you know, what do I know? <laughs> and um, I think I'm just going to do the videos and I'm going to put them out there and just hope that they go down well um and if they don't they don't at the moment it, you know i'm not i'm not doing this for the views i'm doing it you know if one person watches my video that's one person more than nothing so i'm grateful for that one person to 
take time out of their day to watch my video so you know I'm not I'm not in this for the views and for, you know I, I would love to have lots of subscribers but not for the I've got a thousand subscribers I've got this I've got that amount of subscribers I, I'm just you know grateful for the fact that people enjoy watching my my videos enough to, to subscribe to me really um but yeah so um what I might do is I might just do them and just be like to hell with it but hopefully as soon as lockdown finishes I do have some quite nice videos planned um I'm gonna try again because I'm still learning how to use like iMovie and stuff like that um you've probably noticed that um like my earlier videos they just had the um thumbnail and then it went straight into me going hey guys welcome back to my channel um but now I'm trying to like do little things that change it um if I can add music into the introduction bit before I start my hey guys welcome to my channel um then I am I'm just kind of playing around with it and learning it so if they're a little bit sporadic and a little bit like I'm jumpy between having something and then not then just bear with me because I'm kind of it's, it's all a learning curve for me um and um yeah but I have got some quite nice ideas for some videos that I want to do when the lockdown finishes um there's there's one which I'm just absolutely desperate to do not just because of the fact that it's a video but I'm desperate to go to this place um because I just it's basically my idea of heaven it's a, it's a town called Hay on Wye and it's basically a it, well, it's, not, it's not like a really a town it's like a village um but it's primarily made up of bookshops and they're like some of them are like the bookshops that you've seen films where they're like really quite dark it's just packed from floor to ceiling with books and it's got that kind of musky moldy dark type smell to it oh god you can tell how excited i am by like oh so excited but um yeah like i really want to do a video on that like taking you around the different shops um they also if it's still there like i haven't been to hay on Y in such a long time but they did have the most beautiful crystal shop there um, so I want to do like part, well, you know, walk around Hay on Y with me and like another one, which is like going into the bookshop, uh, going into the crystal shop, um, because it would just be amazing. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to ask the shop owner's permission first if I can video in there, etc. but I'm sure they don't, they won't mind. And it might, you know, help get people to want to go there as well. Um, but obviously if they say no then I'm not I'm not gonna do it but yeah there's just so many different videos that I really want to do with you guys like places that I want to go and like the list of things that I have for when lockdown finishes outweighs the videos the video ideas that I have on my little sorry on my little post-it notes that I have attached to my Mac but um yeah, like, oh, I just, oh, I just don't know, like, there's so many different things that I can do and things like that, and there's so many, like, ideas that I have, but I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit nervous to do them, and then in some cases I'm like, sorry, I'm gonna do it anyway, and then in the next breath I'm like, oh, no, I don't know, but, um, we shall see, it'll be a little bit like a, not spin the bottle, it's gonna be a, um, oh, I can't think of what the word is, Nope, word is gone. If I, if I try and remember what the word is when I'm editing it, I will try and put it up on the screen somewhere, but kind of like, um, yeah, I'm not even going to try to so stop. Uh, but that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just have lots of ideas, so I'm just going to go with it. I think that's the word I'm going to use, is just go with it and wing it. But, um, yeah, just still such crazy time. Like, I don't know when I'm going to be going back to work. Um, you know, it's, there's still, there's still, like, a lot going on with everybody and everything in the world at the moment, and, like, it's still people taking the absolute, because they're just, like, flooding to the beaches and stuff like that, and now everyone's terrified that they're gonna have, well, not them specifically, but there's gonna be a second, like, wave of this virus, and, you know, yeah, it sucks. It does suck so much, because... You know, people can't see their families, people can't see their friends, people can't, you know, say goodbye to their loved ones if they've passed away. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it sucks, it really does. But, 
Absolutely. You know, the most of us are just making the best of what we can do with either Skype or video calling or text messaging or just bog standard phone calls with family and friends, etc. And and you know, we'll 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 all meet up when this is all over and it will be worth the wait. That's all I can say. You know, uh, I'm a hugger. I'm a very huggy person. I love giving hugs. So at the moment I'm having like hug withdrawal symptoms because I'm used to having cuddles and hugs and stuff like that off people and I'm not having any at the moment. So severely withdrawn on that. But do you know what? Like I'm gonna go on a hugathon when this is over. I'm just gonna go around hugging everybody and anybody. Just, you know, run around like hugging everyone, just hugging strangers because, you know, give them out like they're confetti. <laughs> That's all I can say. But um, yeah, no, on a more serious note, it is It is just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know when this is going to end, I really don't, it's, it's crazy. You know, I feel sorry for, mainly as well, for like, um, the elderly, because they've been in lockdown for such a longer period of time than, you know, us younger generations. Um, it must be horrible, they must be climbing the walls, it's, it's just awful. I also feel really sorry for anybody who lives in like a high rise block, but yeah, high rise block of flats because you, you know, the thought of getting into an elevator gives me anxiety. I'd have to literally walk in there with like antibacterial spray, antibacterial wipes, gloves, masks, hazmat suit, everything. There is no way in hell you would catch me getting into an elevator because it just, so many surfaces that people can touch stuff and you know i'm not saying that you know anybody in a block of flats would risk touching something with bare hands etc but it just it must be horrible because you just can't go anywhere you can't do anything you're just stuck in like a box almost it must be horrible i really feel for people like i've only got a small flat but i'm on the ground floor and i have like i like i said earlier i can go out to the car park and just sit on the floor um, so, yeah, so it's, it's not, it's just, you know, I, I know that when this is all over, everyone is just going to be very happy, but it, I think it is going to change life as we know it for, for a very, very long time, like, especially with jobs and wages and people, people's businesses, like, I don't know when, like, when they're going to come back, if they're going to come back, you know, it's just a scary time for everybody. I just I just don't think there's one person in this world at this precise moment in time that's not nervous or worried about how everything's going to go down. Like, you know, um, yeah, I'm probably rambling on about that a little bit too much again, but I think it's, you know, you can't ignore it. You know, you really, you really can't ignore it just because... You don't want to think about it, if that makes any sense. It's not just something you can kind of close the door on. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to kind of cut this one as it is because I've kind of been rambling on now for nearly half an hour <laughs> about different things. But, you know, what is a lockdown update other than a massive ramble about different things? So yeah, I will probably upload this one pretty soon. I'll try and upload it, like get the thumbnail and everything sorted pretty soon so I can update it, uh, update it, oh my god, <laughs> upload it, um, pretty quickly because, um, with lockdown updates I'm probably gonna like just chuck them in during the week but I obviously, you know, you guys realise that I, I upload mostly on a Saturday or a Friday. It all depends on when my uh, upload works, but I do try and stick it to a Saturday. I think I was just too excited and a bit nervous about um, the video before this one. No, not this one. The video before A Quiet Place uh, versus The Silence because I was just a little bit... I was excited because it was my Harry... It was like a Harry Potter one, obviously, and I'd added the music to the intro and everything. I was like, oh my god, like, I'm just super excited but super nervous. So I kind of just chucked it in on a Friday. Um, but yeah, I might just do that randomly. I might just chuck random videos in on a Friday. It all depends on when they upload and uh, are ready to go. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing okay. And if you're still with me during this ramble video and you're still watching me, then thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're staying as safe as possible, as sane as possible. Um, you know, if you are 
on your own in a flat or a house or whatever and you are lonely, reach out. Leave me a comment and I will get in touch with you in some way, shape or form and we can chat or whatever because, you know, it, it's, it's not a good time to be alone, you know, with your own thoughts and obviously, again, not harping on about mental health, but, you know, it's, it's a big thing and, you know, it needs to be taken seriously and I take it very, very seriously. So if anyone is, is upset or just needs to talk to somebody who isn't somebody that they know, because sometimes chatting to a complete stranger is actually quite therapeutic because they know nothing about you and they can't really judge. They can just listen. Um, so yeah, just get in touch. Seriously, get in touch. I am happy to chat to anybody and um help out any way i can in that respect so yeah um take care of yourselves stay safe stay sane and i will see you all in my next video bye